problems based on simultaneous equation means these are word problems you will be given uh, the word problems correct and you have to assume uh, the variables you have to assume two variables x and y okay and then you have to form uh, two equations not one you have to form two equations according to the information given in the uh, given in the uh, uh, problem correct and then you have to solve it using any of the methods okay so you can use uh, uh, elimination by substitution you you can use elimination by equating coefficient correct or you can also use uh, cross multiplication method okay as as you uh, find it easy okay whatever method you find it easy you can use it okay so uh, basically you have to use two variables now the question arises what should be assumed as x and y or what should be assumed as p and q okay that will be the question now this question uh, the, the answer to this question is very easy okay you know you have to read the problem carefully twice at least twice and then uh, you will come to know that what you need to find out okay what is the unknown there correct so those numbers will be uh, those unknowns will be x and y okay and there will be some condition given in the problem there will be not one sorry there will be the, there will be two conditions given in the problem and you read those conditions and according to that uh, form the equation okay we'll do a uh, several problems uh, there are variety of problems some are based on uh numbers some are based on fractions some are based on ages okay uh, some are based on uh, you know maybe two digit numbers like units place tens place some are based on geometry also okay like uh, uh, maybe triangle maybe rectangle something like that some are based on uh, you know uh, selling price uh, any uh, and cost price also based on time and work these are these are very interesting these are very very interesting okay so there are variety of problems which are this and if you get familiar with this okay you will definitely uh, uh, you know like it and solving is a secondary thing okay try to understand here our uh, primary aim will be to uh, you know get the information from the uh, from the uh, you know uh, word problem most of the students like to solve it but they they really fear the word problems okay so the only thing i would suggest is read solve variety of problems okay solve them again and again practice as much as you can read the problem okay once you read the problem try to make the sense of the problem okay the equation won't be given to you solving equations is going to be easy now because we have done lot of practice the main thing is how to form the equations that is the main thing in this case okay so let us start with uh, first uh, based on numbers these are very easy so uh, let me read the problem the sum of two numbers is 12 okay two numbers so you know these are these are unknowns so you get the sense okay ha uh -huh. so these two numbers are unknowns so and their difference is two sum means what sum means addition correct plus and difference means what can you tell me what is difference subtraction subtraction okay subtraction so these are uh, very simple things so if you assume let the numbers be x and y correct let the numbers be x and y correct so the addition will be x plus y which is 12 and the subtraction will be x minus y which is 2 very simple right again it is going to be very very simple so let the numbers be x and y therefore x plus y is 12 and x minus y is 2 on solving we get x is equal to 7 now how do you solve it they they will not uh, solve it for you you can easily see that if you say uh, this equation as 1 and if you add this equation right because the coefficient of y is 1 and the signs are opposite okay so you don't have to multiply anything here okay you can directly add these equ equations and you can uh, get the answer okay so when you add this you can eliminate y okay so this method is 
equating the coefficients correct uh, uh, elimination by equating the coefficients the coefficients are already equated you don't have to worry right uh, so you get 2x is equal to 14 right so x is equal to 14 upon 2 that implies x is equal to 7 very easy so if you get x is equal to 7 okay you can put x is equal to 7 in here right in this equation so 7 plus y is equal to 12 so y is equal to 12 minus 7 okay so y will be 5 so in this way you get both the answers so finally this is very important you have to write the answer in words this is a word problem you have to write the answers in words if you write x is 7 y is 5 okay you may lose one mark the reason is that not everyone is going to assume that uh, the uh, the <coughs> what you say uh, the numbers are x and y somebody will assume p and q somebody will assume a and b right are you understanding what i am trying to say do you get my point yes, yes okay so don't write x and y okay you are assuming that the numbers are x and y so final answers answer should be in words you know a simple statement required numbers are 7 and 5 or the two numbers are 7 and 5 okay this way you have to do it is that clear okay yes, sir. all right okay uh, now let us see uh, based on fractions this is again a very important type if the numerator of a fraction is decreased by one its value becomes two upon three its meaning uh, the fraction's value okay the fraction it's meaning the fraction the value of the fraction becomes two upon three but if the denominator is increased by five okay its value becomes one upon two it's meaning again the fraction okay what is the fraction so here obviously we will say let the numerator be x and the denominator be y let the numerator be x and the denominator be y so what will be the fraction x upon y okay you can say this statement before also uh, i mean you should say it here let let the numerator be x and the denominator be y be y therefore therefore the fraction becomes x upon y okay now what is the condition this is the first condition directly if the numerator of a fraction is decreased by one so numerator is already x it is decreased decreased means subtract subtract subtraction Correct. Decrease by 1. That means the numerator will be x minus 1. Okay. Y denominator remains as it is. So x minus 1 upon y is equal to 2 upon 3. Okay. So what do you get? You get 2 upon 3. Okay. Uh, but if the denominator is increased by 5, but if the denominator is increased by 5, so forget about this now. This has This is done. Now, the numerator is x again. Okay, Go back to the original fraction. Now, numerator is not uh, changed. The denominator is increased. Increase manje. What is increased? Addition. What do we mean by increased? Addition. So, x upon y plus 5 is equal to 1 upon 2. I will suggest you to give brackets. Okay, Brackets uh, are very important again. Right? Are you getting the point, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, great. Uh, so now what we have to do again, if you see uh, these uh, equations, you will find that they are not uh, exactly linear, but don't worry, you just have to, uh, you know, cross multiply. So here cross multiply separately here cross multiply. So make sure you go, uh, give bracket. So you get three into bracket x minus one is equal to two y. That is three x minus three is equal to two y. And here you cross multiply, you get two x is equal to y plus five. Okay, so you get 3x minus 2y is equal to 3 and 2x minus y is equal to 5. On solving, we get x is equal to 7 and y is equal to 9. On solving, we get x is equal to 7 and y is equal to 9. Okay, so on solving, again, uh, let me ask you, how will you solve this? How will you solve? See, I would prefer to use elimination by substitution here. Let me tell you why. If you look at equation 2 here, Okay, 2x minus y is 5. So I will say 
टू एक्स माइनस फाइव इज इक्वल टू वाई राइट सो इंस्टेड ऑफ वाई आई कैन यूज दिस वैल्यू एंड पुट इट हियर राइट एक्सैक्टली हियर सो वट डू यू गेट थ्री एक्स माइनस टू इन टू ब्रैकेट टू एक्स माइनस फाइव इज इक्वल टू थ्री राइट सो यू गेट थ्री एक्स माइनस फोर एक्स प्लस टेन इज इक्वल टू थ्री सो यू गेट माइनस एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री माइनस टेन सो यू गेट माइनस एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस सेवन दैट मीन्स एक्स इज इक्वल टू सेवन ओके सो हियर वी हैव यूज एलिमिनेशन बाय सब्सटीट्यूशन हैव यू अंडरस्टूड वाई इज दैट क्लियर okay you can use equating the coefficient but i don't feel the need here it is rather easy to use uh, elimination by substitution method okay so once you get this this is not the answer see typically we are used to find x and y what they have asked what is the fraction if you don't write it in fraction form you will lose one mark again are you going, are you do you want to lose that mark no, no sir so what is the fraction x upon y that is 7 upon 9 is the required fraction okay so please uh, note this down uh, in your uh, okay ha ah, yeah so this type is very important and uh, very interesting also okay so listen carefully based on two digit numbers so basically two digit numbers are written like this you need tens right so if i have let's say 67 as a number correct so 7 will be the digit in units place and 6 will be the digit in the tens place okay this is what it is now the questions are constructed like this you know uh, they will be they will give you a relationship between this and you know sometimes a ratio maybe sometimes uh, the units digit is greater than the tens digit by 2 something like that okay and then we reverse the digit this is very important what do you mean by reversing the digits reversing the digits okay means means you keep the unit tens as it is but what you do is 6 will go to the units place 6 digit will go to the units place and 7 digit will come to the tens place okay so what will happen the uh, number will be 76 instead of 67 on reversing the digits you will get the number as 76 do you understand what i am trying to say is that clear yes okay. sir now one more thing to note okay let me explain again so let us say we have units and tens okay let me read the question and then i'll explain the sum of the digits of a two digit number is 7 sum of the digits of a two digit number is 7 okay so what we will say let the units place be y and tens place be x let the digit in units plus be y and the digit in tens plus be x in fact this is not the number these are the just the digits okay so the number is this is very important understand <clears throat> the number is see if the digit in is in the tens place you have to multiply it by 10 i'll explain with uh, these two examples don't worry and if the digit is in the units place you have to multiply it by 1 so what is the number what is the original number 10x plus y do you understand what i am trying to say okay yes sir ah this is very important this is a uh, very important let me explain with this example okay don't worry so let us say let us say we know that units place is 7 and tens place is 6 so what is the number number is 67 how do you get 67 you get 60 plus 7 how do you get 60 Six is in the tens place, so you uh, multiply the digit by ten, and seven is in the units place, so you multiply the uh, digit by one. Is that clear? Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Sixty plus seven, sixty-seven. This is what it is. Even uh, the same thing happens with seventy-six. So let's say the number is seventy-six. The digit in seven's place, uh, sorry, uh, tens place is seven. And the uh, uh, digit in the units place is six, correct? So you have to multiply the tens place. Tens. Why do we call it tens? Because it is ten times the digit. Understand? Whatever the digit is there, the number, actual number, not the digit, is ten times the digit. Okay. So you have seven. Uh, I mean, ten into seven plus one into six. So you get seventy plus six, which is seventy-six. 
ओके सो अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस फंडामेंटल इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वाई वाई इज द नंबर टेन एक्स प्लस वाई नंबर इज नॉट एक्स वाई नंबर इज नॉट एक्स वाई एक्स एंड वाई आर द डिजिट्स नंबर इज टेन एक्स प्लस वाई ओके ऑल राइट सो लेट मी इज दिस this is the uh, uh, first condition you get that the uh, sum of the two digits is 7 this is the first condition if the digits are reversed the new number increased by 3 equals 4 times the original number okay find the original number so what we will say here let the uh, x be the digit in the tens place you can choose Uh, x to be in the tens place or even in the units place, not a problem. Okay, and y be the digits in the units place. So uh, I'll write here. Therefore, original number, original number. What will be the original number? Uh, y uh, we have written x y right. So original number will be what? Ten x plus y. Do you understand? This is the original number. Is yes, that sir. clear? Okay. Now on reversing, what do you get? On reversing, what do you get? On reversing, x will y plus. Ah, uh, y will go to the uh, sorry, x will go to the units place and y will come to the tens place. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the new number is new number is ten y plus x. What is the new number? Ten y plus x. Now, what is the condition? This is the first condition. Sum of two digits is x plus seven. So x uh, uh, sorry is seven. So x plus y is equal to seven. This is your equation one. Okay, this is going to be equation one. The second condition is very important. One minute, ah, huh? yeah. Second, what is the second condition? Second condition is if the digits are reversed, the new number increases by three. So let me write down the new number ten y plus x increased by three. That means plus three. Equals means equal to four times the original. Four times means four multiplied by the original. So here we have to again use brackets. Brackets are your friends. If you just say ten x plus y, you will be wrong. No, ten x plus y is a number, entire number. So you have to put brackets. So four into bracket ten x plus y. So simplify this. First of all, simplify this equation. You get ten y plus x plus three. Is equal to forty x plus four y, right? So uh, tell me here what you will get. I'll shift this everything to the right, everything except three, except three, and write it before. So forty x minus x plus four y minus ten y is equal to three. So in fact, you should be getting what? You should be getting what? Thirty nine x minus six y is equal to three. You can take three common. You get 13x minus 2y is equal to 1. This is equation 2. Okay, this is equation 2. They haven't solved anything, but this is what you have to solve. So what you have to solve? X plus y is equal to 7. Equation 1 and x minus 2y is equal to 1. This is equation 2. If you subtract, you know, uh, you can get the answer. So x, uh, you know, uh, x will get cancelled out. Okay. Y plus two y will be three y is equal to six. So y will be six upon three. That means y will be two. If you get y is equal to two, put it here. Okay. That means x is equal to seven minus two. So x will be five. So these are the these are the digits. Find the original number. What is the original number now? Y is two and x is five. So the answer is fifty two. Okay. Uh, did we get something wrong? Sir, it is thirteen x, not x. Sorry. Thirteen x, sir. Second equation. Thirteen x minus two. Thirteen x minus two y is equal to one. Third. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thirteen x. Sorry, sir. Yes, yes. Thirteen x. Thirteen x minus two y. So here, uh, you have to multiply by thirteen, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Correct. correct. Yes, so you have to multiply. Uh, I think you have to multiply equation two by two. That will be better, right? Okay. So if you multiply this two, what do you get? Two x plus two y is equal to fourteen, right? And then you add them. Thirteen x minus two y is equal to one. Correct. So when you cancel, when you cancel this, you get yeah, fifteen x is equal to fifteen. Therefore, x is equal to one, right? 
so when x is 1 right y will be 6 correct so now the answer becomes i mean the number becomes what is the number 1 and 6 right 16 is the number okay you should not get 61 as the number no no one okay you you know you, you can argue so i have assumed uh, units place as x and tens place as y still still you will get this as reverse okay those you have assumed x in the units place you will get x is equal to 6 and those who have assumed uh, y in the tens place that they, they will get y is equal to 1 are you getting my point okay so in that case also you will get the same number <clears throat> everybody's answer should be 16 not 61 61 will be the new number on reversing that is not the correct answer they have asked us the original number okay so it doesn't matter what you do but the final answer should be the same question uh, uh, 15 uh, let's see the ratio between a two digit number and the number obtained on reversing its digits is 4 is to 7 okay so again we will say the units and tens tens plus bx units plus by okay the original number will be 10x plus y right 10x plus y correct on uh, reversing on reversing okay you can directly write the number which is 10y plus x directly okay no need to write again units tens the ratio between the numbers is 4 is to 7 not between the digits okay so when you say ratio you have to, on the numerator you have to take the original number that is 10x plus y upon uh, 10y plus x is a 4 upon 7 is 4 upon 7. So when you cross multiply, okay, when you cross multiply, you get 7 into bracket 10x plus y is equal to 4 into bracket 10y plus x. You get this. So you get 70x plus 7y is equal to 40y plus 4x. Right? So you'll get one equation out of this. Okay, what is that equation? You get uh, 70x minus 4x plus 7y minus 40y is equal to 0. Okay, no problem. So you get how much? 66x, right? Minus 33y is equal to 0. You can take 33 common. You get 2x minus y is equal to 0. In fact, this is very easy. y is equal to 2x. Okay, write this down. I mean, uh, this is what you have to do. Now, where is the second equation? You have to have two equations. You cannot have one equation. If the difference between the digits of the numbers is 3. Now the question arises. Listen carefully. Now the question arises. Okay. Be careful. Which one is greater? If I had uh, tell, told you some, then it is easy. X plus Y is easy. Difference means subtraction. So the question is, are you going to do X minus Y or Y minus X? Does it matter? Yes, it does matter. It does matter. Who told you that X is greater? Nobody told you. Did they tell you that uh, the original number digit in tens place is greater than the digit? I'm talking about digit. Do you know whether X is greater than Y or Y is greater than X? No. Then how, how do you know that you have to write Y minus X and not X minus Y? Listen carefully. See, we have taken the ratio. Do you understand? We have taken the ratio. Now, ratio, look at the ratio. What is the ratio? 4 upon 7. The ratio is less than 1. Are you getting my point? That means the denominator is greater. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? See, 7 is greater than 4. So here, the denominator is greater. That means 10y plus x is greater than 10x plus y. If 10y plus x is greater, that means obviously, obviously, y digit the digit y has to be greater than digit x are you getting this point okay yes. this this concept is very important this concept is very important if you just blindly say uh, x minus y or the textbook has done y minus x no that's not correct you have to apply the logic let me go the uh, go to the logic again let me do that again okay baga 4 upon 7 is the ratio of original number upon the reversing digits. Okay. So that means, that means 
10y plus x, that is the denominator is greater than the numerator. That means 10y plus x is greater than 10x plus y. If 10y plus x is greater, that means the digit in the tens place is greater than the digit in the, uh, uh, you know, uh, I mean units place, sorry, I mean units place. Here it's in the uh, tens place, okay, on the reversing. So basically this implies y is greater than x. So while taking the difference, you will say y minus x is 3 and not x minus 3 is y. Okay, that is what they have, you know, given here. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Is that clear? Okay. So understanding this concept, why x minus y is not correct and why y minus x is correct is very, very important. And it does matter. If you take x minus y is 3, your answer will be incorrect. Okay, because that is not the correct method. Okay, all right. So, uh, in that way, you get the second equation. So, what I will suggest to you, just put y is equal to 2x. You already have it. Okay, y is equal to 2x. Put it in this equation. You get 2x minus x is 3. That means x is 3. Very easy, right? x is 3. Then, uh, uh, you know, what will be, what will be y? y will be, if x is 3, yes. y will be what? 3 plus 3 plus 3, correct. Y will be 6. So what is the original number? Original number is 36. Is that correct? Got it? 100%? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, great. The reason for this, as, as 10x plus y, upon 10y plus x is 4 upon 7, okay, uh, this implies that 10y plus x is greater than 10x plus y, okay, correct, so when reversing the digits, the number increases, that means, okay, this means that y is greater than x, okay, therefore y minus x is 3, is correct. Hmm? You can write down uh, as this as the reason. If they had given some, then this problem wouldn't have occurred in the first place. Okay, if the sum is given, simply say x plus y doesn't matter or y plus x. Addition is commutative. Okay, subtraction is not. That is where you have to be very, very careful. Exercise 6C, the ratio of two numbers is 2 upon 3. Okay, if 2 is subtracted from the first and 8 from the second, the ratio becomes the reciprocal of the original. The original is 2 upon 3, the reciprocal will be 3 upon 2. Find the numbers. Okay, so let us go to the whiteboard. Exercise 6E, first one. Exercise. 6e first one okay so let say let the two numbers be x and y okay and what they have given us the ratio of the two numbers is 2 upon 3 okay so from the first condition given in the problem i'm going to write it short from the first condition okay what do we get x upon y is equal to x upon y is equal to 2 upon 3. Correct? Now, this means that if you cross multiply, you get 3x is equal to 2y. Okay? Or you get 3x minus 2y is equal to 0. Okay? Equation 1. Okay? So, from the second condition, from the second condition. Okay? What do you get from the second condition? Okay? Uh, if 2 is subtracted from the first, if 2 is subtracted from the first, that is x minus 2, and uh, uh, 8 is subtracted from the second, the ratio becomes. So, upon y minus 8, okay, upon y minus 8, okay, the ratio becomes a reciprocal of the original. So, what, uh, what does it mean? It becomes 3 upon 2, correct? So, what do you do now? You cross multiply. Okay. Cross multiply. You just write it again. 
Okay, so on cross multiplying, what do you get? You get two into bracket x minus two is equal to three into bracket y minus x. Okay, don't don't forget to use the brackets again. Okay, so you get while opening the brackets, you get two x minus four is equal to three y minus twenty four. Correct. Right? So you get two x minus three y is equal to minus twenty four plus four. So you get two x minus three y is equal to minus twenty. Equal to minus twenty. Okay, equation two. Okay, equation two. Now, uh, I think you can uh, use equation equating the coefficient method. Okay, let us multiply equation one by three. I'm going to equate a coefficients of y instead of x. Both are or oh, equal, right? Not a problem. So let us say multiplying. Multiplying. Equation one by three and equation, you know, equation two by what? Two by two. Two, correct. To get what do you get? Nine x minus six y is equal to zero. Hmm? Correct. Right and yes sir uh, yeah and here you get four x minus six y is equal to minus four. I can directly add them here also. Uh yeah and say here by two and and suddenly so subtract and subtracting and subtracting and subtracting equation two from one. You can directly say that okay instead of writing again this equation so subtraction. When you subtract, you have to change the sign of the second. Uh, uh, what you call uh, second equation? Okay, so nine x minus four x is five x minus six y, and this will become sorry. This will become plus. This is also plus. Sorry. So six y plus minus six y plus six y will get cancelled out. That is what we want, right? And zero plus forty is forty. So in fact, you get x is equal to forty upon five, correct? So therefore, x is equal to eight. Okay, what do you get? X is equal to eight. Got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, great. Um, so once you get x is equal to eight, I think you can substitute in in uh, five equals to twelve. Ha! Huh, in this equation, very easy now, right? So y will be y will be 3x upon 2. That means y is equal to 3 upon 2 into x. So 2 and the 2 4s are. That means y is equal to 4. Okay. So final answer should be in words again. So the required number numbers. Don't don't write x and y again. Okay. The required numbers are 8 and 4 or 4 and 8. Doesn't matter. 8 and 4. Okay. That's all. Uh, not four. Sorry, what? Why? What did I say? Twelve. Sorry, <laughs> eight and twelve. Sorry, y is equal to twelve. So eight and twelve. Right. Let me let me go to the textbook again. So here we have uh, again based on fraction. When the greater of the two numbers is increased by one. Okay. So here you have to be very specific. Let the greater number be x and the smaller be y. Okay, in that way you have to write uh, uh, of the two numbers increase by one. Divide the sum of the numbers. The result is three by two. Sum of the numbers will be x plus y. Don't worry, we'll write the equation. Right? When the difference of these numbers here you don't have to think much. Okay, we have assumed that x is greater than y, so difference will be if the difference is positive. Obviously, <laughs> obviously if the difference is positive. You will say x minus y. Okay, is divided by the smaller. The result is half. That is x minus y is one upon two. Okay, we have to find the numbers. All right. So let's go to the whiteboard. Okay. So let say let the greater number greater number be x and the smaller number. b y ठीक है smaller number b y 
when the greater of the two numbers increased by one divides the sum of the numbers. So from from the first condition, from the first condition, x plus y. Okay, see English. When the greater of the two numbers increased by one, that is x plus one. That is x plus one. Okay, it divides. It divides x plus y. It divides x plus y. ठीक है. It divides the sum of the numbers. The result is three upon two. Okay, so x plus y upon x plus one is equal to three upon two. Have you understood? Yes, sir. Got it. So put the brackets, cross multiply, and you'll get two into bracket x plus y is equal to three into bracket x plus one. So you'll get two x plus two y is equal to three x plus three. Okay, so you get. Uh, I'll take this three x minus two x minus two y is equal to minus three. So you get x x minus two y is equal to minus three. Okay, let it be equation one. What is the second condition? When the difference of these numbers is divided by the smaller. Okay, write down from from the second condition from the second condition. Okay, do what is the difference? Difference is x minus y. Why? Because x is greater than y. We have assumed it, and difference is positive. When the difference of these numbers is divided by the smaller, what is the smaller? Y. y. Then the ratio becomes one upon two. Okay, so here you have to cross multiply, right? So you get two into bracket x minus y is equal to one into y. Okay, so you get two x minus two y is equal to y. So you get two x. Okay, minus three y is equal to zero. Okay, or maybe you can say two x is equal to three y. It's up to you. Whatever uh, is uh, you know, uh, I I would suggest I would suggest you to uh, substitute the value. Okay, see here if two x is three y. Okay, what will be x? What will be uh, what will be x? Three y upon correct. X will be three y upon two. Okay, and I think in this case it will be uh, easier. Okay, instead of multiplying and then you know what you can do is you can substitute. Sir, we can equate in first one. Ha! You can put this x value in the first equation. If you get the value from the second equation. Whatever value you get, you have to substitute in the first equation. Okay. Anyways, so uh, let's see. Substitute. Let's say substituting. Substituting. X is equal to three y upon two in equation one. In equation one. Okay. Got it? Yes, sir. All right. So x is equal to three y upon two. You have to put it in equation one. So write down. Therefore, three y upon two minus three y upon two minus two y is equal to two y is equal to minus three. Okay. So LCM is two, obviously. So three y minus four y upon two is equal to minus three. This implies minus y is equal to minus six. This implies y is equal to six. Very simple, right? Very very simple. Now, once you get the value of y, we have to put it in this one. X is equal to right. So therefore, x is equal to three upon two into six. Two ones are two threes are. So x will be nine. What will be x? X will be nine. Okay. So is it what what they want? Yeah. So final answer is write down answer. The two required numbers are the two required. Numbers are okay nine and six. Okay, you can uh, simply check also. You can verify the answers, but yeah, so this is correct. If the numerator of a fraction is increased by two and the denominator is decreased by one, it becomes two upon three. Okay, if the numerator is increased by one. And the denominator is in, increased by two. It becomes one upon three. Okay, it becomes one upon three. Find the fraction. Find the fraction. Okay, all right. So let's go back to the whiteboard. Question five. Question five. 
let let the numerator be x and the denominator be y okay therefore the fraction becomes therefore the fraction becomes what x upon y okay the fraction becomes x upon y okay got it at least yes yes okay so it becomes x upon y okay uh now if the numerator of a fraction is increased by 2 so what will be the numerator from from the first condition from the first condition okay what do you get x plus 2 right numerator of the fraction is increased by 2 and the denominator is decreased by 1 so denominator is y minus 1 okay then the fraction becomes 2 upon 3 do you understand this statement right yes sir again sir. again you cross multiply so you get 3 into bracket x plus 2 is equal to 2 into bracket y minus 1 therefore you get 3x plus 6 is equal to 2y minus 2 so you get 3x minus 2y is equal to minus 8 okay i am doing it minus 2 minus 6 is minus 8 okay that's how all right from the second condition what do you get from the second condition right what do we get if the numerator is increased by 1 if the numerator is increased by 1 that means x plus 1 correct and the denominator is increased by 2 and the denominator is increased by 2 that is y plus 2 correct it becomes 1 upon 3 it becomes 1 upon 3 okay so just cross multiply again same thing right so what do you get 3 into bracket x plus 1 is equal to 1 into bracket y plus 2 so you get 3x plus 3 is equal to y plus 2 right So you get 3x minus y is equal to 2 minus 3. That means 3x minus y is equal to minus 1. Okay. Uh, here you can uh, subtract equation 2 from 1 because you can see 3x, right? You can do that, yes, or you can say y is equal to 3x plus 1 and substitute it here. It's up to you. Whatever method you are comfortable with. Okay. Just don't go uh, with the cross multiplication method unnecessarily. okay you have have to use cross multiplication method when the other two methods you know are difficult when the numbers are big then only use cross multiplication otherwise don't use it other you know what happens it it becomes lengthy i know it is easy but it becomes lengthy unnecessarily okay don't make it complicated don't make it lengthy you have to finish this problem within 7 to 8 minutes as i told you anyways so i'll say uh, i'll i'm going to use the uh, subtraction okay i'll say subtracting subtracting equation 2 from equation 1 so i have to write equation 1 first so i'll get 3x minus 2y is minus 8 3x minus 2y is equal to minus 8 and when i subtract we get uh, 3x minus y is minus 1 right 3x minus y is equal to minus 1 so this is this is this becomes negative <coughs> this becomes positive this becomes positive so 3x uh, will get cancelled minus 2y plus y will become minus y and minus 8 plus 1 right will become what minus 9 and minus minus 7 minus 7 so minus 7 the both are minus so y will be 7 right y will be 7 So when y is seven, you can find out three x minus seven is equal to minus one. So three x is equal to minus one minus seven. So three x is equal to uh, sorry uh, plus seven. Sorry. So three x is equal to six. So x will be six upon two. That means x is equal to three. Okay. So they have they have asked six us to find the now? fraction. Ah, uh, what? Sir, it will be six oh, upon three, na? Six upon three, sorry. Six upon three will be two. Sorry, <laughs> six upon three will be two. So uh, x is two, which is the numerator. Y is seven, which is the denominator. So don't don't write x and y. 
What is the answer? The two upon seven. Ha, the required fraction is two upon seven because original fraction was x upon y. So you will say two upon seven. Is that correct? Samadula Sagarna? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Let's go to the uh, textbook again.